sometime in October, but I came to the festival before. Um, it's, a, it's great to be in such a panel, and it's great that National Geographic is really thinking about this issue. I've been working with mountain gorillas for over 25 years, and I guess from the beginning of my journey, I noticed that it wasn't so much representation, but it didn't really bother me at the time when I started out as uh, the first wildlife vet for, the, for Uganda and then later set up the non-profit conservation through public health. But one thing I've noticed even go through the journey, for example, when we started out, there were no female rangers, mm. and now 20% of the rangers are female, which is fantastic. Um, I would go out. <laughs> Yeah, we still have some way to go, but we're in, going in the right direction. Um, as a world, I was one of the only female wildlife vets in Africa, very few of us. And so that was, but now many of them, more and more people are taking up this role. There are more and more African wildlife vets, which is fantastic. And also there were very few women in other sectors as well. Um, and even the indigenous people, mm. the people who work with the local communities were not really engaged in conservation. Maybe they were being getting hang out handouts, but they were not expected to lead conservation efforts or to really be engaged. But at least I've noticed that over time it's changing, and I'm glad that through our NGO, Conservation Through Public Health, we are actually getting community members to be the champions in their community. Women are getting much more involved in conservation and natural resource management, and men in healthcare and family planning. So we're excited that we're also bringing about gender equality. And I think conservation is such a complex issue. Mm. Everybody has to be involved, right from the community level, the local leaders, the politicians, everyone has a role to play. And it's, there has to be so much inclusivity. You can't really start taking it out. Everyone has to be part of conservation. Um, and even us, like for example, because we're dealing now with responsible tourism to great apes, you know, we're worried that tourists who are helping to Sustained conservation can also bring deadly diseases like COVID to the mountain gorillas or the chimpanzees. Tourists are part of this whole conservation movement. People from around the world, the local communities are, when animals come into their garden, they're encouraged to tolerate them, learn to coexist with them. But even travelers from around the world, it's, the world has become a global village and DEI, diversity, equity and inclusion is essential to move forward. Thank you, Barry.